The Z11 trial was a prospective randomized trial conducted by the American College of Surgeons Oncology Group and asked the question, is completion axillary dissection of benefit for local control or survival in women with T1 and T2 clinically node negative breast cancer found to have a positive sentinel node who are being treated with breast conserving surgery with whole breast irradiation? And what that study showed was that in patients who did not undergo axillary dissection at a median follow-up of 6.3 years, there was a 0.9% incidence of recurrence in the axilla after sentinel mode biopsy alone, compared to 0.4% in patients who had axillary dissection. Those numbers were not statistically different. And that when you looked at disease-free survival or overall survival, there was also no statistically significant difference between the two groups. Now, it's important to recognize that these results apply to patients who are similar to the patients who were in the study. Namely, they are being treated with breast conserving surgery with whole breast irradiation, so it does not apply to patients undergoing mastectomy. It does not apply to patients treated with partial breast irradiation. There were no patients with locally advanced breast cancer or clinically positive lymph nodes in this study and there were no patients who received neoadjuvant chemotherapy. In addition, there were very, very few patients who had three or more lymph nodes involved on sentinel node biopsy alone, so I think for safety's sake, it's appropriate to apply these results to patients with one or two involved lymph nodes.